Welcome back to another video. I am Gold Raven, and this one is going to be on the drops of Mogloween. So let's get right into this video. The first place we're going to be doing is the town. Now there is about four drops here, one of which is an actual item, the other three which are not. So first of all, I'm going to be showing you I don't have these drops, nor am I going to spend a lot of time trying to get the drops. Instead, I'll be showing images from other people in the Federation and other pictures, possibly. The first drop that you're going to be looking for is this drop right here, the Bootle Helm. This is dropped by one of the bosses. The bosses also drop this, this, and this. Now, if you're not sure what these do, this is what they do. They make you translucent, but the one of them makes you a white color, one of them makes you this color, and one of them makes you a green color, but you can see through. Now, here is one of the bosses that just spawned, and one location is in the graveyard here. Another location is up this way. They can spawn over here by the doorway over here and the other one can spawn over here. Now this boss is the Brutal Corn. And there we go, 227 gold. Well, I just got candy this time, but he does have a chance of dropping those items I mentioned. You can also get this boss right here. He's another boss that you could potentially get. There's just those two bosses, but it's the Brutal Corn guy that drops the helm. The next area is the Miscroft Manor and, well, the grounds of the Miscroft Manor, not the inside. And in here, you have a boss that spawns over in this direction. Now this one here, there's a random spawn. First one here is Jacked Skeleton, which is a nice nod to the Nightmare Before Christmas movie. Now there are three boss spawns in this area. You have the Jacked Skeleton the Numra, which is the mummy looking thing, and then the Trollenstein. The Jacked Skeleton has a chance of dropping the Dark Candy Bucket and the Pitch Pumpkin Pail. The Numra has a chance of dropping the Wear Pumpkin Root. This is the travel form that I am currently using. And the Trollenstein has a chance of dropping the Wear Pumpkin Root as well. The ghosts in this area have a chance of dropping the Pink Candy Bucket and the Pink Pumpkin Pail. That is a lot of peas. The spiders have a chance of dropping the ghastly green gourd or the green candy bucket. And the tricksters have a chance of dropping the regular just candy bucket and the pumpkin pail. Inside the manor you have even more drops that you can get. So the first dungeon is just to the left up here and right in here you have the west, east, north, and south wing. Now in these four dungeons, you can get the Broken Witch Staff, the Holy Witch Shoes, and the Torn Witch Gloves. These are dropped by the bosses and some of the mobs in the area. Over on the other side, you have the Spectral South Wing, and in here, you're going to be getting pumpkin seeds from the regular mobs as well as from the boss, and you're going to be getting the Intact Pumpkin, which you get from the boss. Now if you did not know, those are used to craft the pumpkin stuff because you need to have the intact pumpkin to get these items. So there we go, those are the drops of this area. I hope this video helps you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my uploads. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.